Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be making a script that allows us to click on a part to pick it up. So whenever I click on this part here, it shows up in my hand. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. Okay, so for the setup for this project, what we're going to do first is we're going to head over to the Explore menu. Go ahead and click on Workspace and the plus sign. First, we're going to be adding a tool. So once it shows up in the list, go ahead and click on it. Under this tool, we're going to be adding a part. And then we're going to be renaming this part to Handle. And then we're going to be adding a few things onto this part. The first thing is a click detector. And the second thing is a script. Okay, once you open up the script, you can go ahead and delete the print hello world message. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable for the tool. So we're going to say local tool is equal to script dot parent dot parent. This is a little different than what we've done before, so let me go ahead and explain how this works. So normally we just say script dot parent, but the reason we say script dot parent dot parent is because we're moving up two layers. If we just said script.parent, that would get us up to the handle part. By saying .parent again, that moves up one more layer, which gets us to the tool. The next thing we're going to do is create a variable for the click detector. So we're going to say local click is equal to script.parent.clickdetector. So the way this works, it's going to start us with the script. .parent gets us up to the handle. And then dot click detector references the click detector part. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is create a function. So we're going to say local function. The name of our function is going to be pickup. And it's going to take in the parameter player. So this will allow us to determine which player clicks on it. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to say tool dot parent is going to be equal to game dot workspace and then square bracket player dot name. So what this is doing, it's setting the tool's parent to a new location. So basically this is moving the tool from one spot in the Explorer menu to another. The new spot we're moving this tool is game.workspace. So this part right here is taking the player's name who clicked on the object and inserting it into that player's model. Okay, the last thing we need to do is say click dot mouse click colon connect and then the name of our function that we want to run which is pickup okay let's go ahead and run our program and try it out okay so before I click on this I just want to show you under workspace here that there is a model for the player so what we're doing with that tool is under the workspace we're adding it to that character's model so let's go ahead and try it out if I click on it and if you notice that this happens one thing you can do to fix it is under the part here if you have a weld just go ahead and delete that let's go ahead and rerun our program and we'll go ahead and click on the part again and now it adds it to the players hand so if you want to you can create your own tool and you can use the script to be able to click on that tool and add it to your hand this is going to be the end of this video i hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one